Yesterday I brought you a story coming in from Italy, Napoli, that Kim in has gone ahead to decide to join Manchester United. And today Fabrizio Romano has gone ahead and really given us his thoughts about this deal of Kim in to Manchester United. Welcome to this channel, guys. How are you? And where are you watching us from? Thank you for continuing to subscribe to this channel endlessly and you guys are really giving me comments that are really great yesterday we had three big stories and you've watched them massively continue to subscribe to these channels because guys we are heading into the transfer window that is going to be lit 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 then we are going to talk about anthony revealing to us how he's finding life at old trafford and who has been responsible for him rooting deep into the atmosphere of Manchester United in England. And lastly, some update coming in from Argentina about Lisandro Martinez. There are thoughts that maybe towards the beginning of the, the end of the season, he'll be back. But obviously, certain reports coming from Argentina have gone ahead to rubbish his return and being part of the Argentina national team as they are going to play their friendlies in the coming days when the season comes to an end let's go eyes kim in jay is the talk about town and fabricio romano has told us that kim in jay is on manchester united's list since december but nothing is agreed or decided at this stage the release clause will only be valid in july united are interested with napoli united are interested well napoli are still offering kim a new deal now Fabricio Romano is a very, very, very good journalist that doesn't want to give us <coughs> things that are really unready. So, United is cooking to get Kimin Jay onto his list. He's saying nothing is agreed or decided at this stage. But to me, all I understand is that United is pushing and Fabricio Romano has also gone ahead to confirm us that he's on the list of Manchester United. His bed is closing in July and... Kim in Jay is really still a player for Napoli. And I know why such stories have not gone ahead to really be put outside there. Because it's still so early. You know, because this is May. I understand it's 16th. 15 days left for May to come to an end. Then we have to go ahead and do some <clears throat> other four weeks of June. Then do some other two weeks of July. That's when we will find out the real decision made by Manchester United. I told you yesterday that for Kim In Jay, if he finds himself in a situation of not putting pen to paper because Napoli is really trying to convince him to stay, then we will know how good and how good has gone ahead to make a decision to stay at, to to really leave. To leave, to really leave, um, to really leave Napoli. <laughs> That's it. But if at all he finds himself in a situation of really putting pen to paper, then he would have gone ahead to really <clears throat> silence all of us. But trust me, I think unless otherwise, teams don't get the money on the board. But Kim In Jay playing his first season at Napoli, and now teams are in for him. I don't think that Kim In Jay will say no to a deal for Manchester United. And I think, unless otherwise, we don't have the money to pay, the £45 million to pay to really trigger that clause that is in there for the first 15 days of July. That is it. But I think we'll get Kim in jail. My only worry is about the amount of money that Eric Ten Hag is going to be given and on whether he'll sign Kim in Jay at like 45 million pounds and goes in for a striker of 60 million pounds. That's the huge question that unit is going to be all facing in the name of the transfers because teams are really doing deals. I've just done a story. I've just done a story of Arsenal and Declan Rice that they have already agreed a deal months back. Months back. So it shows you that all the players that we want to get, we cannot negotiate with them a financial package and negotiate with their entrage, then go to the team where they are right now to negotiate and get that deal done out of the way because we don't know the ownership situation at Manchester United. Who is going to be the owner? We don't know. And we are left in the entire 
the entire light alone and we are here trying to ask ourselves questions that we would already have been having answers for because if <clears throat> even if the glazers were here to stay and we knew that all right the glazers are going to be in charge of the club with Sir Jim Ratcliffe a decision has to be made decision would have gone ahead to be made but I get a little bit of positivity in all this because why did we have to bring in a programs director from Everton in January and then we went ahead to bring on another new negotiator remember Matt Judge the chief negotiator for Manchester United left last summer and we've brought in a new negotiator meaning that there is confidence at the club of Manchester United that these people are going to be here and they're going to help us in this transfer window so let's wait and see how things are really going to pan out but then how confirmed us that he's <clears throat> going to sign high quality players and this time around they are willing to come and play for Manchester United so for Kim in Jay let's wait and see how that's going to pan out Napoli <clears throat> stories coming in from Naples Italy Napoli are confirming to us that Kim in Jay has decided to join Manchester United. Fabricio is telling us that nothing has been agreed, nothing has been decided yet. We have to wait until the 15th of July. That's it. So let's wait and see how that is going to pan out. But stories are really linking Kim In Jay to United are really increasing. And I think later in the night, I might come up with another one that has developed right about now that I'll first go ahead and risk it. I have to first scrutinize scrutinize it then i bring it onto your eyes now anthony has gone ahead and really just know that there are a lot of brazilians here casimiro and i always hang out together <clears throat> we always do things i'm settled in and i like life in manchester i hope i can stay here for a long time now he's a kind of man or player who has been really pulled to the sword but i think as he goes into the final bit of the season, Anthony looks like he's, <clears throat> he's turning out a different kind of player altogether. And next season might be his breakout season because he has gone ahead to show us that he can now run, you know, past players. He's getting used to the Premier League. And I understand why he has been blowing hot and cold. But look at the games he's gone ahead to play. In the final bend of the season he's really 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 becoming more decisive in the final third and i would like to see him do more squares and cutbacks to anton martial like he did in the game we played against wolverhampton wonders that's saw anton martial score the first goal i think in the 35th minute of the game i would like him to see i'd like to see anthony do more of that for manchester united that's it because it leaves us in a position of knowing exactly what this team of football is all about as Manchester United. And uh, I think him saying that he wants to stay here more longer, for that, there are huge questions because most of the players that come in from <clears throat> South America, their destination is all about Real Madrid, Barcelona, and way back when the Italian Serie A was still having AC Milan, Inter Milan, and Juventus big teams down there they would love to go that side so <clears throat> let's wait and see whether he's a man of his word because i don't trust south americans when it comes to barcelona and real madrid pointing a finger to a player i understand in the next two three seasons he's going to be the talk of many i understand that because I know he's really going to be doing better and better and better and better and better, especially in the attacking prowess and the end product to his game would have gone ahead to improve to the levels that no one can even think about. Now, he continued and said, for sure, Casimiro, Fred and Martinez helped me and not only them, but also Bruno Fernandes, Diego Jot, Diego Dallo and David De Gea to have the support to be able to receive advice from them that they make me discover the city it's very important and this is exactly what every player needs to thrive at a team if a player is to thrive at a team he needs people to walk him around he needs a family that's why 
some players when they're signed you know they come with their brothers you remember last time anton was really talking about his brother and how important was in bringing him up to the levels of knowing what the city is all about and what the club of manchester united is all about and he never gives up he never gives up on to extending his <clears throat> gratitude to the following players casimiro dalo bruno fernandez david de Gea. and if at all you see and bring it in a nutshell what do they all have in common it is simple they are all they are all latin speakers that's it they speak portuguese language because Portugal colonized most of the countries in South America and Latin is one of those languages they speak so they have a lot they share a lot in common the food the language you know and uh, the families so those players are gonna hate to help Anthony a lot grow into the team of Manchester United and that's something great for Anthony because you'd love to see yourself <clears throat> be into that position when you are a united player having been bought at that at that huge amount of money that is 85 million pounds and uh <clears throat> next season with the pre-season in him and knowing these players better with Ahmad Diallo coming in through to offer competition to him I think he's going to be one of those players that the club of United is really going to be so interested of and the eyes are really going to be so much onto him and watching him everywhere next season let's go to the man known as lisandro martinez lisandro martinez goat and achilles broke no it was a meta tasso break when we are playing a team known as severe and the team game ended 2-2 ended up with 10 men because then Hagas gonna had gonna have to make substitutions and <clears throat> lisandro martinez has found himself in a position of really being out until the end of the season and we are told that he would be fit for the preseason, meaning that towards the end of the season, he might be ready to do his gym work. That is Lisandro Martinez. But the Argentine national team and a reporter coming in from Argentina known as Gaston Edul has told us that Lisandro Martinez will not be on tour with Argentina. He aims to recover by July 12th, the start of the preseason with Manchester United. Now, <clears throat> Lisandro Martinez, the butcher, is giving United first priority and I really like it because some people and some players have gone ahead to give first priority to the national teams <clears throat> you know that and uh, Lisandro Martinez knows that all the fame has gotten right now it's all about Manchester United and it was not his chance it was a chance of Julian Timber but Julian Timber snubbed Eric Ten Hag and told him I'm not coming to Manchester United because Louis van Gaal has told me that if at all I don't gate first team football at Ajax or at Manchester United I'm not going to the World Cup and then <clears throat> Lisandro Martinez was going to Arsenal and he called Eric Ten Hag and told him manager Arsenal is in need of me but if at all you tell me that you want me at Manchester United I'll come in and play for you then that's what happened exactly and then he came into Manchester United so he's out of the Argentina national team remember after the Champions League finale I think it's going to be a played around um around 9th or 10th July <clears throat> then all players will go for international duties there will be qualifiers and friendlies then the players will go to rest and when they rest <clears throat> United is going to start its preseason on the 12th of July and Alessandro Martinez is just getting ready for that and obviously coming in to do the needful for the club of Manchester United so I'm happy about Alessandro Martinez choosing his team Ocular club first ahead of the national team thank you guys for watching in through tell me your thoughts about Kim In Jay to Man United latest Fabrizio Romano giving us an update about Kim In Jay and what do you think about <clears throat> Anthony coming out and really revealing the secret behind he's getting used to Manchester United and obviously Lisandro Martinez decision of really getting Hilly fast and go to the preseason the 12th of July I sign out for now see you later I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ Rock and David remains my name I'm out for now see you later more videos are really coming up